Hello, Victor here again at RestoreYourMercedes.com and here we have another throttle body which is a C220, Mercedes C220 4 cylinder throttle body 1996 as you can see it's a little different than V8 or V12 it does not have electromagnetic clutch in it but it does have idle correction so this little motor right here actually corrects idle it does not do cruise control um, or uh, ASR for that matter um, now the problem with this one was uh, idle was going up and down and uh, um, it would not keep up steady RPMs um, the wiring was not good wiring was shorting but the major problem was with the potentiometer that actually was worn off the surface itself seemed to be okay but the uh, slider the sliders that the ones that actually um, you know, sliders that um, slide against the graphite inside the potentiometer were worn off I have another throttle body which is a spare part throttle body which I just want to show you okay here we are now here is another this is the V8 throttle body as you can see it's it's bigger it's bigger than C220 if you can compare the two obviously it's cylinder to four cylinder mm. now this one has a clutch um, even though it's not a SR model but it still has a clutch now this is the graphite surface that you have to look into and make sure that there is no significant wear as you can see on the light there is slight wear on this one which is not really significant though this worked just fine when I pulled it off the car is a wear over here, wear over here, wear over here this is where the idle contacts stay and there is slight wear on this here too but anyway um, this is the graphite surface that the, the sliders the slider looks like this here is the slider, one of them there are two sliders in this particular throttle body so what they do is they sit over here on the shaft and they slide up up and down on this graphite the value changes accordingly okay so now this particular piece was fine so I, keep, I kept it for parts I took the clutch the motor is still good and I have still a couple of sliders here now the slider itself in this throttle body was pretty bad here's the slider so to look at the slider in close-up which we can't unfortunately this particular camera is not fortunate here are contacts one two there's a third one over here but this throttle body doesn't have the third one it only has two and two so now as you can see these little things these are sliders here we are now the slider is you can't really tell but it's it has a little lip okay it's like a little extension of the tip what it actually slides against graphite it's spring loaded okay so it's spring loaded so these things are spring loaded as you can see i can press on it oops here we go now the slider is not solid it's con it, it's consisted out of okay the slider itself is not a solid piece of metal or spring it actually has tiny little springs about 10 of them in there on each one so each and every one can be bent individually which i do not recommend you just have to be really careful if you would bend it then there will be problems with one of them scratching the surface so you want to make sure that these touch the surface evenly so now this is the good one this has about 120 130,000 miles on it which shows literally nowhere now the original that came out from this throttle body which I replaced with my spare part is worn off to a point where the slider contact itself the bent area of the contact is worn off where it's completely flat can't really see let's see if we can get super close up no it's not really not focusing 
Okay, anyway, if you can see this, you have one contact which is okay. The other one, you cannot see a light reflection on this one right here because there is nothing left of it. It's just basically flat surface. Can't tell. Well, anyway, the bent part is gone. It worn off. So there's nothing left. So I took one off my spare throttle body, put it in there, so now it works fine. Wiring of course was replaced, uh, the wiring itself was shortened out, but not much. Here is a new wiring in there inside the throttle body as you can see. Soldered directly to the body. Here's the plug, it's still cut, I'm still testing it, this is the wiring loom. Looks nice. I'm gonna seal it all up ready to go. Now this throttle body is in pieces. There are two sliders in this one. There's one over here. As you can see I can move it inside. Let me just get a close up of that. Here we are. There's one right here. That's one potentiometer. That's R2. And this is R1. Okay. R1 and R2. This one is the throttle position sensor that's what it refers to and this one is the idle correction this shows and what state the idle correction gear is which is not inside the throttle body i'll put it in right now so here's the gear it goes in here there's a slight little notch over here on the gear where it engages in that little in, in that little access opening there so the gear goes in here okay it's engaged the spring goes in there um, there's another gear that goes here, this goes on the body, so the motor, as you can see, moves it up and down. If it adjusts the butterfly, I have to weld it back together. So, it adjusts the throttle body, because this, there's a piece missing here, which is welded to the case. So when this gear moves down, it actually moves the butterfly, and there's another piece that goes here, that moves the first potentiometer to position to sh to send computer a signal what throttle is applied how much throttle is applied so i'm going to fix that later now the original wiring this is the c220 so it's a four cylinder so here's an incision the customer looked at cables just to look at the condition and there were corroding falling apart as you can see here or even here you can see insulation missing here and there and uh, obviously when you work on it you break insulation even more on this side it wasn't as horrible as on the other side still decent this is the six cylinder one this is the v8 cylinder uh, v8 motor throttle body wiring loom same here customer had to cut the wiring to inspect them so over here you can see some insulation is missing so what i recommend doing is taking a sharp blade and cut into the insulation a couple of times you just make an incision about three inches just go through the same one i'm gonna try to go a little deeper here real quick this knife is not the greatest but okay so you have to make a couple of passes, do not just try to do it in one pass. So you should, should do is you open it up and look at the wires inside. See there's cracks, cracks and wires in there. So the blue one has insulation missing. I just touched it and it just fell apart. And the control wires in there, they're cracked. But that's how you test to see if you have any cracks in insulation that will tell you if the wiring needs to be done. So C220, the same problem as V8, V12s, the wiring harness fails inside it. This is the new wiring I put in there. Military grade cables, would stand direct heat. Um, nice Teflon coated wires I use. And um, the readings all check out on the plug and everything should be good to go well any questions restore your mercedes.com is the website you can find me there thanks